If you're trying to tell me something about myself, why don't you just say it to my face? <laughs> what? I just like this tune, all right? I mean, if you think it's saying something about you, well, that's on you, not me. I didn't even know you was here. It's on me. Why? Damn. I thought I didn't trust nobody. Look, just consider it a payback for the tea that you gave at your place. But, um, I don't need any payback. Hey, of course not. I mean, uh, it's not like you'd ever set foot in any place where you might bump into me, right? I just came in here to find a book for my friend Teresa. Something to help her deal with the death of her father. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been thinking about my man Miguel all morning, too. She watched her father fall to his death right before her eyes. I mean, how do you get something like that out of your mind? Time, I guess. At least they knew who the old man was. So I, um, I take it you didn't find out anything after you left my house last night? No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, things didn't go the way I was hoping. All I know is that the people who I thought were my mother and my father probably weren't. I could be anybody's kid. So you don't think the people that raised you are really your mother and father? Well, I'm beginning to wonder. It's okay. I mean, it's not like they were uh, winning any Parents of the Year awards, you know? I mean, they bailed on me when I was only a kid. I know, but still. Yeah, besides, <laughs> why else would Orville want to destroy my birth certificate unless there was something written on it and he didn't want me to know about? At this point, I don't even know if my real name is Chad Harris. If only I could... Make out what was written underneath. Well, let me try. Take your best shot. Everything's on here that could identify who you or your parents were. It's either been burned or it's blacked out so dark. I can't make it out. Welcome to my nightmare. Well, there's got to be some way we can identify the original name. Hold on a second now. What's all this, um... We stuff. Hey, you better be careful or else Mommy Dearest just might take away your allowance if you get all mixed up with a bad boy like me. Don't call her Mommy Dearest. And I'm not planning on getting mixed up with you at all. I'm doing this for Orville. I see. I like him, okay? And, um, he's my mother's patient. You think that's gonna fly with her? Because, uh, I don't, all right? The way she's gonna see it, is you helping me out? Some street kid who don't know who he is, don't know who his people are. You hang out with me. Who knows who you really hanging out with? I'm not worried about what my mother would say at all. She has complete faith in me. And nobody says she didn't, all right? It's me she don't trust. So you're off the hook. Relax. You know, as a matter of fact, don't even give another thought to me or my messed up birth certificate, all right? Fine. <laughs> but, you know, you do have a point. Gorbel probably wouldn't have burned it if there wasn't something on there that he didn't want you to see. Yeah. The question is, what? I mean, thanks to your digging around on the computer, we both know uh, there's no proof I was born in L.A. Orville himself said I was born right here. But there's no record of your birth here in Harmony either. Maybe I was never born, and I don't. Even no. Very funny. So, um, what happened when you and Simone confronted Orville at his apartment? Did he say anything about your parents then? No, uh, no, no names, anything. But uh, he kept going on about uh, uh, they threw you away. He threw you away, somewhat. Like what was he talking about when you were abandoned as a kid in L.A.? Or was he talking about when you were a baby? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if Orville knew what he was talking about or. Who he was talking to. I mean, you know how space out he can get. I can't imagine that he meant that your real parents threw away that your child. You know, maybe you can't imagine, all right? But the world where I come from, it happens. I ain't too surprised by anything parents do to their kids. Well, my parents would never do anything to hurt me or Simone. 
They are the most wonderful and caring parents anyone could ever have. <laughs> That's pretty good of you. Sticking up for your moms like that. I mean, especially after she uh, gave you hell for letting me into your house totally. For your information, my mom didn't give me hell at all, okay? I just told her you came by with her wallet. And it turns out she wasn't even upstairs sleeping. She had gone for a walk. <laughs> Is that where she told you she went? If my mother said she went for a walk last night to get some air, then that's exactly where she went. Fine by me. If that's what you want to believe. <laughs> so, what exactly are you saying? <laughs> that she lied to me? Look, not to bust your bubble about your perfect mom who uh, never told a lie in her life, but to say the very least, she ain't tell you the whole truth. What does that mean? Well, maybe she started off going for a walk for some fresh air, but uh, she wound up at Orville's apartment. Well, that's, that's crazy. Why would she go there? Same reason I went. She's looking for something. Well, when I left your place last night, I went back to Orville's. I was hoping to find some information about my past, maybe. And she was there? Yeah. She said she was looking for some medical history uh, that might help her patient. Well, then that's exactly what she was doing. At that time of night, carrying a flashlight, when the apartment lights were working perfectly okay? Yeah, whatever you say. I don't know what you're getting at here, but I'm not buying it. Well, look, like I said, that's, that's on you, all right? But uh, thanks to your mother, I didn't get a chance to look around for anything. Oh, oh, she didn't let you? Nah, she hustled me out of there so fast, I didn't know what hit me. That's why I'm going back there today. Maybe I'll finally find out um, who threw me away and why. Oh, there's my friend Teresa. I'm going to go see how she's doing. No problem. I'm a jet anyway. Well, um, keep me updated, okay? Okay. I will. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Hello. Much better. It's possible that, that the man who died wasn't my father after all. You're kidding. Do you know what this means, Whitney? That your real father didn't do all these terrible things. Yes, and that he could still be alive. And you know what else this means? I don't have to stop loving Ethan after all. If it wasn't my father who died last night, it changes everything. Well, I hope so, Teresa, for your whole family. Me too. And don't you see what it means for Ethan and me? I thought I would have to give up loving Ethan because I was responsible for my father's death. But if he's still alive, that means fate is still on my side. <laughs> Has your brain always worked like this, Teresa, or is it a result of too many hot rollers? Whitney, this isn't about my brain. It's about my heart. And for the first time since New Year's Eve, I have hope again. I don't have to give up on Ethan the way I thought I did. And don't you think Gwen is going to have something to say about this? She is still going to want you to come up with this phantom boyfriend of yours, Teresa. And then when you can't, Ethan is going to realize that Gwen was right all along. And then they're going to get married. That's exactly what's going to happen. Whitney. Gwen believes I just lost my father in a tragic accident, right? So? So even she wouldn't be so cold as to ask a grieving daughter to produce a boyfriend right now. Which gives me the time I need to make Ethan fall in love with me. You'll see, Whitney. Ethan and Gwen are history. Ethan and I are the future. If it turns out it wasn't your father who died, then you should take that as a sign. That's what I'm doing. No, you've got it all backwards. You should take that as a warning not to risk everything you have just to get Ethan to fall in love with you. Why not? Ethan and I are meant to be together. I can't fight destiny. Ugh, and I can't fight the way your mind works. Maybe I'll get you some coffee, talk some sense into you. Well, that was quick. How'd it go? It didn't. Social services was at Oval's apartment when I got there. They were sealing the place up. Really? Well, why? Ask your mother. 
she's the one who asked him to do it. 